30 years since my next guest first became a household name, playing Winnie Cooper in The Wonder Years. But acting isn't Danica McKellar's only passion. You see, she's a mathematician and a really smart and good one, and a New York Times bestselling author. And her latest books are called Bath Time, Math Time, and Do Not Open This Math Book. They're for your kids. She's here to talk about it. Welcome, Danica McKellar. Thank you so much. I feel like these are perfect. Because the little one is for three to five year olds, and yes. the the other one is for six to six nine to year olds. Eight. Yeah, six to nine. So yes. you've completely covered my my children. Yay! Thank you for that. <laughs> my pleasure. And you're trying to make math not scary. Yes. And not just for the kids, but for the parents too. That's true. So I started writing my middle school and high school books, uh, focusing mostly on girls, and uh, and now I'm going younger. So I started with uh, going younger last year with Goodnight Numbers and then Ten Magic Butterflies. Now Bath Time, Math Time, and then Do Not Open This Math Book is really where I'm attacking the whole Common Core thing. Yep. Because Common Core is a new way they're teaching math, and it's, it's a mixed bag. It's not all bad. It's, it's very visual. Uh, they break down the numbers more. And that's good, but it looks so different. Yeah. So parents are coming home, like their kids are coming home and saying, can you help me with my homework? And these are six and seven year old kids. And the parents are like, I don't recognize this right. anymore. That's like What's the, the promo on? for the movie, The Incredibles 2. Yes, exactly. Has Craig T. Nelson's character going, they changed math? Yes. <laughs> Why would they change math? I know, and so parents usually, I mean, my experience, people are like, oh my gosh, I'm afraid of helping my kids with their homework when they get into middle school and high school. And now it's like starting so young. So, and do not open this math book. I break it down. I lay it all out. I'm like, it was pretty it clear. Is. I read it. And I was okay. like, oh, the light bulb's starting to go off. Yay. Yeah. Like, yeah, because it doesn't have to be that bad. It's, it's, it looks so different, but fundamentally it isn't. But there's a reason it's so important to you to help our children, and yes. girls in particular, but all of our children, understand math and feel confident in math. What is it? Absolutely. And, and that's why the Do Not Open This Math book has Mr. Mouse and fun cartoons, and the older books are mixed in with all sorts of fun real-world applications. Math is like, doing math is like going to the gym for your brain. It sharpens your brain. It gives you that confidence that comes from feeling smart. And especially for young girls, you know, there's so many questions about self-esteem and what is my value, what is my self-worth. I struggled with it myself after the Wonder Years, and math really helped me. And so I want to give that now to the rest of the world and girls and, and help them grow into strong young women who know they can count on themselves because they've got the, the fortitude mm -hmm. and the strength, the inner strength that comes from feeling confident. It's exactly the opposite of social media messaging. Yes. Exactly the opposite. That's the thing. I mean, girls, girls today have so much pressure to look, you know, glamorous and fun and take good selfies and get lots of likes and all the rest of it. It's like, it's like okay, okay. I mean, that stuff is fun but it's just the icing on the cake. What, you know, like yourself, and how do you like yourself? Feel like, you know, it's a good thing I've got me on my side. And how do you build that? Through sharpening your brain and your confidence, and math is a great tool. Because you lived this, because, uh, you know, of course, many child actors go on to be kind of messed up. Yeah. And, and you <laughs> aren't, and I know you said, it, it. you think it's actually a, a lot due to your math skills. Absolutely. No, I wondered who I was and what my value was outside of Winnie Cooper, and a lot of child stars go through that, because you get so much praise for this one thing that doesn't exist anymore. And you're like, well, what would I have if I didn't have that? You know, who would I be? And for me, mathematics just really showed me that, okay, wait, this is something I can build for myself on the inside. I can struggle through a math problem, think I can't do it, then realize how to do it, and you get this math high, and it's that, that confidence that comes from, oh, I've seen obstacles before, and I thought I couldn't do it, and then I did. Okay, but can anyone do it? Because you graduated summa from UCLA with a degree in math. <laughs> you went on to help create a mathematical theorem. Can, like, can anyone, because I haven't taken a math class since sophomore year of high school. Well, can anyone do it? With enough work, yes. <laughs> Here's the thing. You know, a misconception, a misconception that a lot of kids have is that you're born with one level of math smarts. So if they don't do well in, you know, in, on a test or at one class, they think they're stuck at that level, and they identify with not being good or smart. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, you can build your brain. It's just like going to the gym. You work out those muscles, you can become smarter and stronger it's in a, math. It's a great line for kids when they say, I'm not good at that, whatever it is, sports math. Right. Not good yet. Yes, exactly. And I got, exactly. Thank you so much. Good luck Thank with you. the book. It's been a pleasure. And for more, uh, you can go to today.com slash Megan Today. We'll remind you the names of the books and tell you how you can get them. We'll be right back. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.